it was a very one of the toughest decisions um, that I had last night that we had last night you know kind of debating it <clears throat> I feel like he's not a hundred percent um He's, he's obviously had a great year and been a really important for us. Um, and I trust it. I really trust his makeup. And I know he wants to be out there and wants the ball. And I know he's cut out for this. But I do feel like he's less, just a little bit less than what he needs to be. That said, I could still see him making it on the next round if something were to happen in this round I, I would go to him I feel good I feel good enough about putting him out there and like um, that it's not a reckless I just feel like he's a little less than certainly a hundred percent all right, so that's a big omission. Let's talk about some of the roster changes. I know yesterday you kind of threw the spotlight on Marinaccio as a guy you'd really like to have in that pen. Yeah, I'm a little confused. I mean, if it was such a tough decision, then he was probably close to 100%. And that's the guy I want on that roster because the Yankees just have Wandy Peralta as a left-hander out there, and Alvarez is going to come up in key spots. Marinaccio, with his changeup from the right-hand side, works perfectly into that. If he was 95%, again, I'm not a doctor, and Aaron Boone has much more information than I do. But the fact that they were debating it and it was the toughest decision, my, my decision would be go with them if it's such a tough decision. Right. They always have more information than we do, and I think there's a cautionary flag for every reporter out there. Just because the player says he thinks he's ready doesn't necessarily mean the team that has eyes on him thinks that he is going to be ready. You look at what the Astros were able to do this year. They had much better numbers against left-handed pitchers than they did against righties. They had an OPS of second in the major leagues against lefties. I agree with Michael if Marinaccio was that close to 100%, but all Aaron Boone said was that he was not 100%. I think if they thought Marinaccio could have been an asset, he'd be on this roster because the guys they added, Weissert is someone who hasn't pitched in a couple of weeks, and Montas is someone who I think is only going to pitch in an emergency situation out of the bullpen. Another guy who was saying he was ready to go was DJ LeMayu, but obviously the Yankees felt like he wasn't healthy enough uh, to make some sort of an impact during the seven-game series. But I'm glad you mentioned Montas and Weissert because in a seven-game series, those guys at the back end of the bullpen are going to have to cover some innings. It's not like the division series in five games when you can go to Peralta every game. Loisega was overused. Trevino is going to be a big factor. So some of the the guys that they added in that bullpen are going to have to pick up some innings and we talk about Lucas Litke all year long kind of the under the radar guy you get to the ALCS and he's left off well fellas